Well, well, you ask me the question, okay. just what you... Uh, okay. We was asked the other afternoon over the phone about what would we pray for these men or these suspects to be exact, and I asked the lady, or I told the lady that I had already been praying for them. And she said, will you pray for them tonight? And I said, I sure will. And we asked God to have mercy upon them because they had mothers and fathers that also loved them. Open-air funeral services for six members of the Ned Alday family were held here at the Spring Creek Baptist Church where Aubrey Alday and three of Ned's sons were deacons. Burial was in the church cemetery and the family plot. You see, we have here four deacons in our church. All right, along with these four deacons, we've lost the chairman of the board of deacons. We've lost our Sunday school superintendent, our song leader, our training union director, our church clerk and treasurer. So we have to trust God to give us the power to move on within this life for his glory. I don't believe it bothers me any. I had a feeling at first that it might be a handicap, and, but I don't believe it is. I haven't had any problems so far. Sometimes when people come in to talk to me, they seem kind of surprised at who they're talking to, but I don't believe it's caused any problems yet.
they never give us no trouble. And our mother would visit, come up and visit us different times, never give no trouble at all. Pretty good neighbors then, in other words. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty good neighbors. You feel the boys were raised correctly? Right. The boys was raised up like any other kids should be. But why did they do this? Well, the best recollection going back 10 years is a couple of young men who have had not the best family situation. Uh, the uh, Coleman boy uh, found himself without a father at a relatively early age. I believe the father deserted the mother. There were apparently drinking problems. Uh, Mr. Isaacs, uh, the father of the younger two boys, they have the same mother, um, also had problems and in fact I believe uh, left the family in 1963 or shortly thereafter. How did the boys act at home? They act real good. They was brought up and raised real good. They listened until so they got old enough to be on their own and then when, you, when they went out you tell them something, they stand and laugh at you. At first I was somewhat surprised because I, although we have some evidence of past exploits, I, I was quite shocked at the extent of this type of act on their part. I would, uh, well, I was shocked. But they never gave you any trouble when they lived in this particular neighborhood? No, no, they never gave us no trouble. Went out there and we just walking around looking. And we found a, a, a man and a woman. Well, I feel like they're guilty, and I would like to see them come to trial as quick as possible, and I'd like to see the uh, court do justice. Well, I can't say that my boys didn't do it, because if they say they done it, they done it, because I can't doubt anybody's word, because if they got fingerprints and stuff, then they have done it. I mean, that's the way I feel. There are no reason on the all day part for it being done because all they, they don't bother anybody. I feel sorry for these poor people. Anybody that comes out of a field that's working and shot down for nothing, for no reason and why, it's terrible. It really is. You can't, you can't think of any reason why your boys might have done something like this? I can't believe it, but I guess it's so. What do you think would lead someone or people to commit a crime like this? Well, now that, I, I just don't know, because I, I have never associated with that type person, people that, that, that's that mean. If they done this crime the way I feel they should be punished, down deep in my heart, yes. Because if we're not punished and get out, they will to do worse than what they've done before, what they've done now. Because it's a shame what they have done now, let alone get out here and do something else. If they're found guilty, would you want to see the death penalty imposed? That's left up to the court. I don't have no say so over that. Do you feel any vindictiveness towards these four men? No, nothing, but I feel like they should be punished. I think they could get just as fair a trial in Donaldsonville as they could anywhere in the world. I believe they'd get as good a trial here as they would in New York. I really don't know what kind of a trial or safe it will be. But whatever it be, it'll be. You'll have to take it. That's all I can say. I think it shook the whole town. 
and everybody has really been hurt because the family was well known and most of the business that they, they did was here in town and everybody knew it. Is there a climate of fear here in this town still lingering from that time? Not exactly, but since this happened, they figure most anything else could happen. And they're prepared for it. Right. How have you been getting along emotionally since this all happened? Well, that's a hard question to answer. I don't really know. I guess I'm going to have to say by the help of the good Lord is the only way that I've got by. What has this done to your own life, Mrs. Isaacs? Well, let's put it this way. It ain't done... In, in deep down inside, I just can't say, but still, I got my own life to live, and that's the way I feel about it. It still seemed like a dream, but I think it's a thing that that I'm sure I won't, I won't ever live down.